But I am saying yes to that. But fermented products are okay. Whatever it is, whether it is milk or you can ferment it, you get out of this vegetarian, non-vegetarian business because everything is fermented there. Once you ferment, milk becomes buttermilk. Buttermilk is okay. Milk is not okay. So fermented products, all are good because in your tummy also microbes ferment things. You know, this aerobic fermentation. Fermentation is good. So milk is non-vegetarian. Buttermilk is vegetarian. Technical. Technically. You know, if you are happy with the vegetarian, non-vegetarian thing. But it is not the way that I look at it. It is that you cannot have enough milk from desi cows to give you enough buttermilk or dahi. In fact, I'll give you, I mean, very tangential answer. Your Krishna is venna donga. He is not milk donga. <laughs> Am I right? Have I answered your question? Yes, sir. So if you Answer my uh, second question second. is uh, how the millets they uh, uh, procure in uh, the autoimmune disease. Mm -hmm. Millets? How the millets they procure in uh, autoimmune disease? Autoimmune disease. Yes, yes, yes. yes. What, what is after all autoimmune disease? It has disturbed your immune system. It is not able to recognize what is yours and what is not yours. Am I right? And that is happening because the produ production of your uh, T cells or immunoglobulins, whatever is gone, have I. Am I right? So the fiber of codomillate especially cleans up your bone marrow and the whole blood cell systems. So by the time it produces three rounds of hemoglobin, which takes three months time, that means every blood cell in your body gets replenished in three months. Just like your skin, three weeks and your neurons seven years, nephrons seven years. So when you replenish, the real new cells that are being produced can be set right. So in a matter of three generations of blood cells being produced, you can clean up the system. So autoimmune diseases, we have had wonderful results. In fact, I went to Punjab. One girl was born with so-called autoimmune disease. She was not able to come out of the bed after born. Six and a half years she was in the bed after being born. She has been identified. And the moment we started feeding the porridge of codomillet, within three weeks she was, they removed her tubes and things like that. And next three weeks she started moving around in the ward. And within three months she came out of the hospital and now she is running around like a dear baby. So this just happened last three months before I went to Chandigarh. So, and not only that girl, we have hundreds of, in fact, this so-called uh, um, vitiligo. People have for years, five years, 10 years, who have had wonderful uh, results, completely becoming normal. And main ichthyosis is another big skin disease which has no cure. We have had wonderful results. Uh, we have tabulated the protocol, the way to eat, all the details in the booklet, which Muthu will be sharing with you, all of you.